We've all heard the phrase, curiosity killed the cat. The definition brought to me by Google, stating, being inquisitive about other people's affairs may get you in trouble. Quite straightforward, right? Well, nine-year-old me would beg to differ because I didn't give two fucks about no curiosity killing the cat. Now, the reason why I'm saying all this is because I was in a situation that could have easily been avoided if I just minded my own fucking business. Now, in order for you to get a full grasp of the story, I have to tell you about the environment I was raised in. You see, growing up, I lived in the bottom of the barrel neighborhood. Crime rates up a thousand. And not so drama and shit like the actual hood. So my family, specifically my older brother, had to adapt to the environment. Living in Canada, instead of using actual weapons or firearms, niggas would just use bear mace. Of course, the firearms were still around, but it was just harder to obtain. Now up here, we don't call it bear mace though, we call it a can. I'm telling you, every single goon in Canada has a can and will use it without hesitation. For literally any reason too. For example, you're being disrespectful to their mans, you're getting canned. You're wearing designer walking through the hood, you're getting canned. You accidentally bump into someone. Nigga, did you just forget to apologize? You're getting canned. Now this story takes place on a Friday night. I'm just in the living room chilling. And my mom walks in. At the time, my big bro was in jail or juvie. I don't really know, no niggas on menace. So my mom asked me to go get something from his room. So I began walking up the stairs. And it's late at night, so it's a dark ass hallway. When I entered the room and opened the lights, I'm just bombarded with a bunch of items. So I grabbed the charger and head back downstairs to hand it to my mom. But if you weren't paying attention in the beginning, I have a very curious mind. So of course, I go back upstairs and I begin snooping. Oh yeah, mom, uh, I forgot to close the lights in the, um, the room. Uh, I'll be right back. So I head back to the room and close the lights as to not be suspicious. Now when you enter the room, to the right of you, there's a shelf with a bunch of shit on it. So I walk towards the shelf and see this peculiar object on it. Now at the time, I thought it was some sort of Febreze. So you know, my thought was like, I'm trying to see what it smells like. Now I start fidgeting with the can, and at the time, I was tall enough to where the can was pointed directly to my face. And my mindset being that it was a Febreze bottle, I was accustomed to the trigger being on the top. So I obviously assumed that the can was facing the wall, but then I began feeling around for the trigger. Now leading up to this moment, I've done so many things wrong that I can't point out a specific flaw that led me to this point. Although, like the saying goes, curiosity did kill the cat. So I find the trigger, all of my senses are just bombarded with bear mace. My throat, my eyes, every entry was just bombarded. Pause. And of course, I began screaming, so my parents are downstairs and they hear my screeching. But you wanna know what the fucked up part about it is? The first thing my parents said to me when they walked into the room and saw me on the ground. That's what you get for snooping around, little nigga. Serious right okay, now? obviously not that blunt, but like, you get the gist of it. Nah, no, but I'm telling you, that shit was so bad I couldn't open my eyes for five days. And for a period of time, I thought I was permanently blind. But hey, on the positive side, I got to miss school. And when I finally opened my eyes, I was feeling like Sasuke Uchiha, nigga. Ain't no one can tell me shit. I feel like I just got my hood shot on the... I went back to school feeling like I could suplex any teacher that looked at me wrong. Like, who really doing it like me? That's it for the story. To be honest, I only use the story to kick off this YouTube shit. So, uh... Subscribe. There's so, there's so many reasons why I am not in the streets. Hundred million reasons why your ass shouldn't be in the streets. There's so, there's so many reasons why I am not in the streets. Hundred million reasons why your ass shouldn't be in the streets.